Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to ATV, and guess who's sick today? This guy! But I'm not gonna let it defeat me. I'm gonna make a video anyways. Come on, Cold, do your worst. All right, today is October 21st, 2015, which means this is the day that Marty McFly and Doc Brown went back to the future. Back to the Future is like one of my favorite movies of all time, and uh, it still is to this very day, and uh, I just want to share a few things that they got right and a few things they got wrong. Hoverboards. In the 2015 of Back to the Future 2, little girls scoot around a lake hovering scooters as teens hell-bent on revenge fly boards with flame exhausts. While regular old scooters with wheels still dominate the playground, Working hoverboards are inching towards becoming reality. In May, Canadian inventor Khalil Alexandru Duru, I don't even know his name, but I'll put it right here because I can't pronounce it, broke a world record flying his propeller based hoverboard traveling a distance of 275.9 meters. Alas, probably not quite far enough to get away from Biff Jr. and his. Henchman rehydrating pizza. Boy, oh boy, mom, you sure know how to hydrate a pizza. While rehydrating a tiny pizza to family size was the vision of 2015 food that Back to the Future 2 imagined, the reality has been almost the opposite. The slow food movement has taken hold as a backlash to convenience-driven foods with a swag of television shows and restaurants popping up that showcase traditional food made by hand. Flying cars, like the future deprecated in The Jetsons, the 2015 of Back to the Future showed flying cars and they may not be as far off as you think. Phone calls with video. In the movie, future Marty McFly has a video conversation with his bosses via the TV. These days, we have Skype, FaceTime, Snapchat, Google Hangouts. Yeah, it looks like this one definitely came true. Fax machines in every room. Read my facts. You're fired. Fax machines? Do people still use those things? Faxes may have gone the way of the laser disc. But email, SMS, and push notifications mean it's pretty hard to escape someone who wants to get in touch with you. Plus, with Wi-Fi enabled printers, you don't even need to be plugged in to get something in hard copy. Let's call this a win for the Back to the Futurists. Jaws 19. The 2015 of Back to the Future 2 shows the Jaws franchise huge in the 70s and 80s, continuing its trajectory with the 19th in the series in cinemas. Happily for beachgoers everywhere, the last Jaws movie was released in 1987, but on the trend of sequels and movie series, the prediction was not far off the mark. According to AMC film site, 12 of the 15 top grossing movies in the US in the past were part of a series with two Avengers movies making in the list. Sports Almanac. Yeah, we have a record of sports results from the past 50 years. It's called the internet. Mr. Fusion. Perhaps the coolest prediction of the future made in the movie is Mr. Fusion, a system that converts household garbage into fuel for a flying car. Scientist Ben Powell told the ABC a banana peel in the can of beer could probably generate 1.21 gigawatts of power 
and more besides if broken down using nuclear fusion, but scientists haven't managed to uh, harness the process yet. However, biofuels are already in widespread use, and Professor Powell predicts when uh, renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, water, power could make fossil fuels obsolete within the next few decades. Oh boy. Well there you go guys, that was my video for October 21st, 2015. I'm just saluting to Back to the Future because it was one of my favorite movies of all time. And I do apologize that I was reading, or well, I was reading and talking very badly because I am sick today. But uh, cold, do your worst because I wanted to make sure I have a video for you guys. Yes, I got me a Marty McFly hat and a pair of glasses. Do I look like Marty McFly or what? Okay. Well, I'm Austin Taylor, and thank you for watching ATV, and I'll see you in the future.